Hi, this is Kit. I am 37 and a half weeks pregnant, and because I'm a crazy person, we picked up six chicks this weekend. Um, we drove a little bit of a ways out of town. You can see we got two different varieties. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about those in part of the video. Uh, we, we drove an hour to the east part of Denver to pick these chicks up. So to do it, we set them in a cooler that we kind of pre-warmed so it became warmer. And we had a hot water bladder to keep them warm for the drive. And you'll see them here um, on their drive. So cute. So we have them set up currently in what we consider their stage one brooder. It's a very DIY rig. So let me show you how I made it. It's working out great. We've had them alive for four days now. So it's an aluminum beverage container and it is on top of heating pads. The heating pads are on top of a towel. And so, and there's some tensioning with a tie back right there. So the tensioning is crucial because that's what creates the heat activation in the um, warmer pads. So we're basically creating um, like a radiant floor for the little chicks and we have it insulated with a towel. And I did a lot of pre-testing. Chicks have to stay at 95 degrees for the first week, so they can't do that with the heating pad alone. So we do have a heating lamp not too far away as well. Um, and then, of course, we have a little bit of a um, just saran wrap kind of <laughs> on top with some ventilation gaps. And when we introduced them, we didn't introduce them with bedding, just with plain paper to get them acclimated. They are very messy creatures, these little dinosaurs. Got a jealous dog over here. These are Easter eggers, and these are barred rock Plymouth. They are very messy. There's my poor jealous dog. She was so jealous of these chicks getting so much attention. This is them settled down at night. Most of them are cozied up. One's eating. So it's not the best camera angle, but it's trying to not disturb them. After a day or two, we added bedding, and again, they are messy little creatures. Now, I wanted to show cleaning out, so that's what I'm about to show. We cleaned it out, I guess, already, so now this is how I reconstruct. See, now they're all one. They just huddle together. He just, he's trying to take a boat back, I feel. Might be. Just with that. So I have pre cut <laughs> newspaper. Really funny when he did that. They're pecking at uh -huh. the They're pecking at the stuff. Just adding bedding out of a bale. They're pine shavings, not cedar. Cedar's deadly. And the water I'm using is actually more for the stage two brooder, but we're using it now because they just will basically sit in a water bowl if you give them one that's big enough. They are stupid animals. Uh, there's their food. Okay. So. And that takes. Oh, I saw food. Oh, you took food. And Mommy, I saw food. Careful. Careful. Mommy, I saw food. This hole. Excuse me. Sorry. Are you okay? I want to hold one. I want to go back to holding. Oh, 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 oh. Go eat some food. Put it back, though. Where's the last oh. one? Um, Terrence oh. and John. Alright, be gentle with her legs. Okay, be gentle. Oh, no. Oh, you little guys. Do you want me to help? No, no, no. Here, we're no. gonna. Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh. oh. 
one of them. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. It just was she fell in me. It's so hard. Uh, it's feet was tickling me. I know. That's what happens. Up by the others. And then... You're welcomed by the beautiful others that are probably welcoming. Most likely. You don't know. Let's go back to playing the game. No, it's sour time. So resealing the saran wrap. And um, this is, again, stage one. We think it'll last two weeks, and I'll have an update on our stage two setup um, later on. We can see it's at my glorious table of all purposes. Um, and so far, so good. Cheers.